Well, now, my grandpappy always used to tell me he's going to take me out back of the woodshed. And I always told grandpappy, we ain't got no woodshed, pappy. Well, now we do, sort of. So this shed here, <clears throat> excuse me, I stored hay in it all summer, which actually turned out pretty good. Uh, in some of the other videos, this was kind of a cool little trial I did. I wanted to see if, you know, this hay would actually store well in in the barn here, in the building here, and, and it did for the most part, only a few issues. But now that we don't have as much hay in here, I can kind of convert this over to do a little bit of wood storage. Now, I can't put hay in here with all of this wood in here because it sticks out too far. Now you might say, oh, well, it looks like you're fine. <sighs> to put hay in here right, I really need to go wall to wall, and this stuff was kind of getting in the way. So, I don't know what I'll do next year in this regard. I'd love to keep storing hay in here because I could actually get a, a decent chunk of hay in. I think I got 12 bales in this year. If I stacked it better, I might be able to get an extra... Well, honestly, I might be able to get an extra 10 because my thought is, is if I keep this bale but over against this wall, I can maybe stack another bale on it on the pony wall because this used to be a salt building. So when my dad built it, it was having salt push out against these walls so it should be strong enough to hold a couple round bales because that would be lighter weight than salt would be but <clears throat> i don't know how well this is even going to work if i try that because i'd have to pull all this stuff out all this stuff out again and then i don't have storage space for this bunch of these pallets are actually bad so they'd have to go away anyways i got all this junk sitting in here that needs honestly scrapped because i'm probably never going to use a piece this small for anything you know so I really need to uh, clean up some stuff around here but we'll get to all that later so at least for the current time I'm going to take all of this wood and I'm going to restack all of this with this stuff here and I want to go this way now if it works out well I should be able to and especially if I keep the log shorter like this log is uh well, that's that's obsessively long. You know, that's about an average chunk of firewood. So, you know, I might have to take care of a few, few big pieces like that. But if I keep it all relatively short, it should fit from this edge of the pallet back. And if I really wanted to, I could just cut this edge of the pallet off and then I'd have my hay storage like I need it. And I could still put wood in here. Plus, the wood would just be pushed into the wall with the, the hay. And if I really, really wanted to, I could push everything further this way, take these barrels out of here, push this, give me a whole extra two feet, maybe three feet, something like that. So you may be asking, why am I spending so much time on this wood? Why am I discussing it? This doesn't look like a firewood pile. Well, it's not. It's a wood chip pile. This is all cherry. All that's here, all that's sitting there, and I got some more cherry uh, to collect as well. And the reason I want to collect all this cherry is you can make uh, smoking chips out of it. You know, you can actually, uh, those chips that you'd buy at Walmart or wherever you may acquire them, I can get them, I can make them. That's why I got the wood chipper here. I built myself some sieves to kind of screen down some of this big stuff. You know, get some of this big stuff out of here, get down to the small stuff and the sizes that I actually want. And uh, make my own wood chips that way. So that way I can either sell them, give them away to friends, do whatever it is I need to do, because I've seen some people do pretty good with stuff like this. You know, there's a lot of folks that do firewood, but there's not a whole lot of folks that do uh, smoking chips. And maybe there's a reason, you know, you might say, well, the reason they don't do that is because you don't make money and it's really labor intensive. Sure, sure is. You know, I got to split all the wood, then I got to split it small enough to fit into my white pipe. And then once it fits in there, it'll actually fit in the chipper. And I probably should have just bought a bigger wood chipper to do this with. But, you know, you live and you learn, right? But, yeah, I, uh, I'm i going to be doing that again this year. I might even advertise it a little bit more. Try and get this going because I'll have a bunch of cherry to do. Just, just something to keep me entertained. Something to keep me working. Get me a little extra money. And you know what? If it doesn't go anywhere, as long as I leave it in chunks like this, the father-in-law can still use it for his wood burner. You know, I could give it away to a neighbor or something, give it to a buddy. I could put a wood burner in myself if that's the route I wanted to go. 
So there's lots of things like that that I could do and I choose to do. And I thought Cat was going to do something cool. Jumped up there like it was going to go get something. But anyhow, guys, I think that's enough staring at a wood pile watching kitty cats run around like knuckleheads. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next one.